Hello everyone, this is Bryant with Amusement Source Media and we're back in Texas. We are here in Roanoke, Texas at Hawaiian Falls, Roanoke. So last year we went to Hawaiian Falls, Waco, did a tour. We figured why not check out one of the other Hawaiian Falls parks here in Roanoke. So we're just outside of like the Fort Worth, South Lake area here in uh, the North Texas region. They also have a park in Mansfield. And of course, like I said, they have the park in Waco. So there's tons of slides. I see a wave pool. I saw a lazy river. They're also working on a brand new attraction. So we're gonna give you a full tour, show you the seating areas, the rides, the food, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's check out Hawaiian Falls Roanoke. made our way into the park and here to the right is uh, where you can uh, get your cabana set up I don't know if this is a <laughs> I don't know if this is a real person or not behind me but it's where you can uh, get your cabana rental set up they do have a guest services booth over here and then as we swing around there's like this tiki guy that's like heckling and yelling I assume it's pre-recorded hey don't just walk by. Yeah, it's pre totally pre-recorded, but he does shoot, shoots like water. Oh, there he goes. It's, oh, it's like the spitting tiki. That's fun. So, to the right of where you can get your cabana set up are some lockers. They do the wristband system here. I believe the lockers start at $10 for the whole day, which is a pretty good deal. You've got the Coconut Cove also over here. You can see some cabanas in the background as well, but Coconut Cove is like, you got like a little water basketball. They've got like the lily pads you crawl across. They do have some sitting, like a little sitting area in the middle too. And then on the far side of that is where your primary restroom and changing area is. Now, as we come across here, you run into the gift shop, which is Surf Shack. And they've got like sunscreen, shirts, hats, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff that you need to enjoy the water park. And then of course, one of my favorite things about the Hawaiian Falls water parks are the uh, HTO stations. So they've got all kinds of HTO. They've got snow blast, they've got slushies. Looks like our HTO flavors today is uh, sweet, unsweet, sweet Georgia peach, sweet watermelon, sweet coconut, sweet blueberry, sweet wild raspberry, and sweet mint. So plenty of things to pick from. Now, as we continue down the pathway, there is a Pineapple Pete's Pizzeria, not quite open, that's okay though. They built this huge shade structure this year with fans, tons of kind of lounge seating, but also tables for eating. You do have a taco truck here, which I assume Serves exactly what you think. It looks like they have some sweet treats. It is a little early. It's before noon right now, which might be why some of these places are closed. You also have the Oasis bar over here where you can get your like pina coladas, frozen margaritas. They do have some beer on tap. Looks like their beer starts at $10 and kind of goes up from there. And then kind of the main eating area over here is Sharky's and you can see You've got Sharky up there. He is so ready to make you some food. It's not even funny. TV is very dim. I don't think it's gonna show up, but they've got like baked potatoes, mozzarella sticks. They've got pizza here. They've got cheeseburgers. Pretty much all of your standard stuff. Nachos, pretzels, churros, drinks, chicken dippers, all kinds of stuff. Moving on past Sharky's, you have some more covered seating areas, some picnic tables. They do have free life jackets there on the rack. And then behind this little uh, shaded seating area is your wave pool. So uh, full disclosure, we already went into the wave pool. It's not very intense, but uh, it's a little guy, great for families. You got some fun kind of theming there on the backside of the wave pool and uh, basically what you're seeing here with the waves that's that's as intense as this wave pool gets so definitely a much more relaxing wave pool 
Now, if you're looking for cabanas, they do have some more over here. You can see it's, they're very basic cabanas. It's, a, it's nice to have kind of your own little setup area, but they're not too crazy. It's just basically like a tent with some chairs and stuff. But like I said, if you want your own little private shaded seating area, it's perfect. Moving past the wave pool, you've got some more seating areas over here. Or I should say more cabanas. There are more seating. Oh my goodness. So this thing is called Mega Water World, which is probably very fitting. You've got the huge pineapple up there that fills up with water. They do have a fun little large chair photo op with a shark in the background. And Water World is also home to all kinds of little body slides. So you've got a lot of body couple. What is it like? three body slides over here and then you've got some smaller body slides over this way you can probably see the green slide in the background we'll get to that here in a minute but lots of things to do especially for little kids on this one play area uh, really just wanted to kind of come around the back side of this play area because it's a pretty extensive slide setup you've even got this little blue slide over here they've made really good use of the space everything is is a uh, very compact and kind of has its own spot here. Oh, you see someone just came down this body slide right here. Not super intense. They do have like a toilet bowl slide on this though, which why I was surprised to see. But I think it's just like a body slide toilet bowl. Nothing real crazy. Super family friendly in this whole little area right here. Now across from Mega Water World is the Beach Blasters, which is this slide complex here looks like you've got two raft slides completely enclosed until you get to the bottom looks like you uh ride on a double raft the whole time let's see if we can catch someone coming down one of these oh yeah this one totally has like a toilet bowl kind of setup right there i don't think both of them go through the oh someone just popped out on that side looks like no one is uh braving the well you know what I think, I don't know, the looks are really deceiving. I'm not sure if we'll have time to ride this today, but I, there's no way both of these go through there, right? Yeah, so I'm going to say this left side goes through the toilet bowl, and that's why more people are riding it. I don't think anyone is riding the non-bowl side, but I can hear people screaming in there, so they must be spinning around in the, oh, here they come. Oh, someone did just come out of the other side. Oh, they came out backwards. Gnarly. So we've kind of come up this pathway here. And the next slides you run into are the Flying Hawaiian and the Pipeline Plunge. Looks like the Flying Hawaiian is a raft slide. You can do a single or a double. And the other one, the Pipeline Plunge, is a just like a body slide. Come on down. Not a super crazy slide, but still lots of fun, I'm sure. It looks like the uh, Flying Hawaiian has some kind of lighting or projection in it. They do have like the little sections where you get kind of flipped around and stuff. So it could end up being a really wild ride depending on how you end up coming through this thing. As they get ready, it looks like they're gonna try to race. There they go. Oh, you can barely see them from over here. Across from this slide complex, of course, more cabanas. They all kind of look the same. You do have like some privacy shades for sure, but you run into what looks to be called Riptide Falls. That's what it says up on the sign. Another play complex. And uh, this one is even, I would say more tame than the other one we saw. A few body slides on here. Got, uh, of course, your uh, your bucket of water up there. Gets everyone splashed, but lots of interactive water elements on this one as well. As we continue down the pathway, it looks like over here you've got a more basic level of cabana. Looks like maybe these don't come with any way to lock up your belongings. But 
these cabanas that are on this backside, you see a sign for River Adventure, which is the Lazy River. We'll show that in a minute. These all are butted up against the Lazy River. So you've got like some laying areas that I think are in the water. And uh, if you want to access the Lazy River pretty easily, you can do that as well. So yeah, this is the Rainforest River Adventure. You can see more cabanas all down this way. There are some shaded loungers and stuff over here as well, but very standard Lazy River. You can probably see some uh, water, part, water uh, slide parts over there. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but very standard Lazy River. Not a lot of shade, not a ton of water features. That's kind of the only, my only critical thing, but it does kind of wrap its way around back this way. It doesn't really go through anything, so it is very secluded. And of course you can get a raft to enjoy it as well. You can kind of see the lazy river kind of winds through. There's a normal lazy river. I think there's supposed to be like water features in the rocks and stuff. They could be shut off because of the construction that's taking place over here. Not super sure though, but see some people kind of meandering along. Over here on this side of the park, if you're not feeling like you want to walk on the hot concrete with your bare feet, you could be like me who sports Crocs or you can walk through this really cool little like water walkway that they've built and uh, it's just got a few fountains in it but it's designed mostly to keep your uh, your feet from burning what an awesome idea and it does look like they have like a little mini kitty slide over on the uh, back side here but this thing will span you almost from where that spitting tiki is at the front all the way down to, you know, pretty much to the back end of the park. Not a very big park, like we said, but uh, what a fun idea. So the other really big kind of center slide complex that's intertwined with the, the middle of the park is Beach Blasters, which is gonna be like your green water slide and your blue one. Now this green water slide comes out and does like a little half pipe. We'll get a little bit closer. The blue one looks like a kind of a more standard, I would say, like raft slide. But these kind of look like, you know, I'm not going to lie. These kind of look like the main attractions here. These look like some really good slides. We'll have to get a closer look. So on top of your green kind of half pipe slide, and your blue raft slide, they do have some like more tame racing lanes that also come off of this tower right in the center. There they go. So we've come all the way back up to the front of the park and over here in the right hand corner is their I assume they're trying to get it open for 2024. It is very late in the season, but it's like a little family raft slide that they're building back here. Or not even family, I should say children's raft slide, but one of those really fun, oh no, the Tiki guy's trying to get me. But looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm not really sure what the ETA is on this. It does look like there is a lot of work still going on over here though. Fair warning, the, uh, the spitting Tiki up here that uh, can shoot towards the front. It also can shoot towards the side. It shoots water all the way over here. So, what a menace. What a freaking menace this thing is. Hey, you guys. <laughs> you did come here to get wet, didn't you? To Hawaiian Falls. <laughs> this is a water park, you know. <laughs> all right everyone that does it for this tour of hawaiian falls roanoke there is a lot more to do here than you would think so i was talking to uh, some people that work here at the park and they said that this little center section that we were showing you has 13 water slides so i mean there's there's a ton to do it's not very busy today Plen plenty of areas to sit plenty of things to eat, different kinds of slides for the whole family. So don't sleep on these Hawaiian Falls parks. Obviously we haven't been to Hawaiian Falls Mansfield yet. Maybe we'll do that uh, next summer. We'll have to wait and see, but you know, I, Hawaiian Falls is, is one of the best kind of bang for your buck 
water park concepts in in this area in in texas so you know if, if you're looking for something that's a lot more cost effective i'd highly encourage you to to uh, give hawaiian falls a try if you have any questions about hawaiian falls roanoke let us know in the comments below we thank you all for watching take care and we'll see you at a theme park